hot off the presses, Sigma announces two new Cine lenses to join their existing Cine lens lineup, both the Prime as well as the Classic lineup. Here in this video, we're gonna talk about what that means and some big news for the Cine Classic lineup. Earlier today, or even like as of five minutes ago, depending on when I put this out, Sigma has just announced the 65 millimeter T1.5, and that will join their Cine Prime lineup, as well as the 65 millimeter T2.5, which will join their Cine Classic lineup. If you're unfamiliar with the Cine Classic lineup, that is basically Sigma taking their Cine Primes and changing the coating around a little bit to offer more of a vintage characteristic in some cinema prime lenses now there's not an official launch date or pricing that's available for the 65 millimeter for either the t 1.5 or the t 2.5 but as soon as that's available i will put it in the description below as well as a pinned comment to this video so definitely stay tuned for that now sigma didn't send any pre-release copies for people to review but i did shoot one of my short films last year leaving safety with with the 24, 35, and 50 millimeter Cine Primes. And so I'll leave some footage here on this video so you can see generally how these Cine lenses do perform. Also, I don't know if you've heard of it, but they were used in this little film called Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> I digress. Now, another part of this announcement, and honestly, the biggest part of this announcement, in my opinion, is the fact that Sigma is now gonna be offering their Cine Classics individually as individual lenses rather than an entire set. Formerly, you did have to buy a set of 10 lenses to get your hands on the Sigma Cine Classics. Unless you rented them, obviously, then you can maybe rent them one at a time. But to buy these lenses, if you wanted to keep them in your arsenal, you had to buy an entire set of 10. Well, as of this announcement, they are going to be selling these individually. Again, there's not official pricing around them. And again, once that becomes available, I will put it in the description as well as the pinned comment to this video. What do you guys think about this press release? What do you guys think about this news? Are you excited about this focal length? The 65 millimeters one that you would use? Or are you excited about the individual buying opportunity with the Cine Classics? Let me know in the comments below. So that's it for me. Again, just a quick news update. If you do have any questions about any of this news, if I can get it to you, let me know in the comments below. As always, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you're digging the overall content from the channel, consider subscribing. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Peace. Okay, I'm really going on vacation now. I'll be gone for like a week. I, I was not supposed to make this video. But when your PR rep from Sigma says you're about to put out a press release, you make a video.